how would I describe myself and the work that our firm does? I'm an architect, and we create environments that are wonderful and supportive of what our clients are trying to achieve. What was the thinking behind the founding of the AIA chapter in Hong Kong? There were a number of us who were members of the AIA in, from different states. We were all here in Hong Kong, and we felt that we could far better represent the AIA as a component here in Hong Kong if we pulled together into one chapter. What drew me into the practice of architecture? It happened when I was nine years old. I've never wanted to be anything but an architect. And at the age of nine, I would look at wonderful magazines with photos of buildings, of homes, and plans, and I want to do that. And I learned the name of the person who does that is an architect. That's why I'm an architect. What project best represents the firm's work? That is very difficult to answer. It's difficult to select just one project because we are a global organization. We work in many different cultures for many different sorts of clients. Exploring the new ways that these clients are working, the new requirements they have, is the most exciting thing. So I have to give the traditional answer. The next project will be the best one. Whose work do I consistently admire? Miro, as the artist, wonderful ideas and fantasy. Calatrava, you want to be inside the whale? You want to fly with those wings? Gaudi, the beautiful sense of structure and joy. Joy in all of these people is so important. Vitruvius asked us to provide commodity, firmness, and delight. We can call delight joy. What is the most exciting thing, the most exciting change happening in our industry today? It really is the users. People are working differently. They are finding their pleasures differently. We have the means to create the environments that will support that and make that joyful. What is the most important thing that I've learned in these years that every young architect should know? The most important thing is that we, as architects, are designing not for ourselves. We are designing for people who will use the environments that we create. So we need to be considerate of people. We need to understand people.